When Frederick Church created Olana in the 19th century, the Hudson River also served as a commercial corridor. The Hudson Valley region was an agricultural center. Farm produce, ice, timber, and other products were shipped down to New York City. Areas close to the Hudson River and parts of the Catskills had been largely deforested due to commercial uses. When Church began to create much of Olana, the second growth woodlands one sees today would not have existed. The woodlands at Olana are an intentional part of its large scale design, and Frederick Church's vision was to plant large stands of native trees throughout Olana. He said, For several seasons after I selected this spot as my home, I thought of hardly anything but planting trees, and had thousands and thousands of them set out on the southern and western slopes. In contrast to the global eclecticism of Olana's main house, Church sought a naturalistic effect in his landscape, and he achieved this by working with native species, including maples, birches, hickories, hemlocks, chestnuts, pines, and oaks. Planting trees enabled Church to frame particular views and to provide visual contrast to Olana's open meadows and fields. Trees also served as middle ground elements to blend with distant native scenery. Frederick Church was a follower of the great naturalist Alexander von Humboldt, and this was evident in Church's art. In his paintings, Church was famous for depicting vast climactic scenes, while also incorporating exact botanical details seen in the natural world. The western slope of Olana includes Bethune Road, an early switchback road added by Church in 1865, which connected visitors down closer to the Hudson River. Further up the hill, Olana's main house was sited by Church for its elevated vantage points. Over the last century, the hillside beneath the house began to overgrow, and the iconic Hudson River view from the main house had disappeared behind dense second growth and invasive vegetation. In particular, the view of river and mountains from Church's painting studio was largely obscured. In 2014, the Olana Partnership began a restoration project on this hillside in cooperation with New York State Parks. A team of consultants, including a landscape historian and a horticulturalist, advised on a design plan based on Olana's archival information. In 2015, the invasive trees and plants were removed from the hillside, specimen trees were retained, and a native planting plan was implemented. Newly planted trees included redbud, witch hazel, birch, and sassafras, and the shrubs included dogwood, elderberry, and spicebush. More than a thousand native ferns were planted. In the coming years, this hillside will naturalize, and today the Hudson River is again visible from the main house and its surrounding areas. Views that back up towards Olana's architecture from distant vantage points have also been restored.